What's going on everybody and welcome back to the quarry. So when we last left off, we uh pretty sure I got two people killed and in particularly by that creepy ass cop, which I'm pretty sure now he is I'm pretty convinced now that he's a serial killer. Or some sort of crazy ass, you know, killer cop. Anyway, uh, and now we were at a camp with a brand new group of people that I believe will probably end up getting killed as well. So, we have plenty to look forward to. But you know what they say. What doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. So let's just keep looking around, shall we? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Let's go ahead and scoot on over here. Oh God, I'm already getting like fucking. Friday the 13th, uh, Camp Crystal Lake vibes over here. Jesus Christ. Wait, so now what am I doing? Am I looking around all these... I know damn well I'm not going to each and every one of these. Let me just see real quick. Let me look for a moment. No, I guess not. Alright, so forget the individual ones. Okay, so that was that. I'm not breaking into any damn thing, so let's keep, let's go over here. Let's see. I wish there was some kind of objective GPS ordeal to tell me where I need to go. But, we'll find out. Let's see. Information signpost. Okay. Mm-hmm. I believe that top one said safety island or something. No, I think it says... No, nah, I don't know. Anyway, let's keep on going. Someone over there. I'll go talk to them in just a second. Anything here? Door kind of looks like it's open now. Okay, can't do anything there. Alright, I guess I'm going to go talk to whoever's over here. Let's go see what the deal is over here. Oh, okay, never mind. It's, it's, what's your face? Okay. Alright, here we go. Ready to roll? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I don't know what else I could have forgotten, but we'll see. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. But louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Oh. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so, hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. 
Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Hmm. Do I want to impress somebody or do I want to be safe and potentially not get them too killed? Let's just go back to the lodge. Alright. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. oh. Not a squirrel. Too close. Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time like ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. What do I want to be? Do I want to be, um... I'm not going to ask, why didn't you break in? Because that's not right. I don't break in, so let's go sarcastic. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's it about? Protective, mind your own business, friendly is about me. Dude, I, I wouldn't even say a word. I would just let them have their conversation. But since I have to choose, uh, I don't know. Considering it's that Asian chick that's like really kind of pissing me off already, I'm kind of probably going to have to be protective. But then again, I'm like, Ugh, should I just go with friendly? I don't know. This guy, I'll just be friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast? about you okay if anyone here had a podcast about them it'd be me yeah if there was a podcast Fuck, i should have been protected i knew it and smell like a butt that's oh terrible my God, you are so childish at least i don't look and smell like a butt no it's, so a, it's a paranormal podcast this episode was actually about this place weirdly enough the hag of hackett's quarry the who of the what's it where now what's the hag of hackett's quarry you don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. 
Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haga, it's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. All right, let's see here. Defensive, better than yours. Supportive, you should have seen the kids. Should I be supportive or should I just be defensive? Mm, let's go with better than yours. Let's do that one. Oh, yeah, you got a cooler one? Oh, no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, 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 seriously, dude, I think it just it came out wrong. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda what if our bags weren't locked up? What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. All right, let's. Uh, all right, let's be understanding. Let's be respectful. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. All right, what should I do? Should I just listen to a podcast, or should I eavesdrop? No, I'm not an eavesdropper. I don't drop no eaves. So I'm going to just go ahead and listen to podcast. Well. Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it.
Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's not be selfish because he's probably just pre he's probably just preoccupied. So let's go with concerned. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So, maybe just... Ease up on the ghost stories. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time. <laughs> What's that? You guys oh, don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Hmm. Now that I will have to ask about that one. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off-season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. There we go. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Huh. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> you just called him a noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Cause it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm gonna have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no, I am not leaving without- It's the way it's gotta be. Come on, Jacob, start her up. Do that. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. 
the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm... Damn it. I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. What the hell is going on now? Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? See, this is the kind of situation where you get into, you're like, I don't know, man, I can't control everybody, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. All right, just, let's just go with compliant, come on. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Yeah, this dude's serious. So... What was that about? He, uh... Said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are... You kidding me? Um... Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Oh my god, here we go. Alright, let's not get these people killed. Let's try to keep everybody alive here. Let's treat this like a life or death situation. So we're going to be insistent. We have to keep all these people alive. Come on. we got to no, follow the no, instructions. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. See, I knew it. I knew they wouldn't listen to him. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Let's see here. He did seem freaked out. He was just concerned. Let's go with apprehensive. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. 
Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Should I? Let's see. Should I? Def should I dismiss what he just said, or should I just be like, somebody's gonna give a shit? Well, I can be defensive. Let's let's go with a little. Now, with this situation, man, I mean, we already don't really know what's going on, but he's really concerned. But then again, people are being disrespectful to him. Mm. Let's just go with dismissive. I'm about to go with dismissive. Whatever, man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. Oh boy. Uh-oh. Here we go. Oh, shit. What in the fuck? We got some backwood hicks right here, boys. Shit. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Hunting yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, right. What the fuck, man? That's crazy shit right there. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Okay, let's go with, uh, let's see more. Let's see what happens. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Hm. 
Jasper's course, Filet Al Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Wow. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. <laughs> right, there we go! And... Viola. Trust the process. <laughs> Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. So you're good with your hands. Took you long enough. All right, well, let's go with sarcastic. Took you long enough. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay. It's not a race. Okay. So, if I were a beer, where would I be hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep, are you doing? Beep. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Hmm. Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Okay. That was a very long cutscene slash movie deal. I was starting to think that this game was just a damn movie. But anyways, it's actually getting pretty good, I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of drama, but hey, you know what? I can deal with it. I'm enjoying it. But uh, I'm going to stop right here for now, guys. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you think. Also, if you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos as well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.